All right, am I the asshole? You guys love this shit. And I have a good story. Some of my favorite parts of stream is just getting to share my life with you guys. Um, is that a tiger's butthole? No shot. Is this real? <laughs> Why did they put the, they, the, the, this? Is this an actual Lego build? Why did they do that? <laughs> this is on the subreddit. Why did they feel the need to do that? They could have just... I would, okay, I'm looking at this, and I think... Just put a black... Why? It's so pink! I want to poke it. So, am I the asshole? So, I per... Because I'm a nice guy, Eddie... Thank you, Chelsea. I purchased my father a laptop. Can I tell you something that's going to make you all go... <sighs> my dad hates it when I do this. My dad... Um, I, I uh, Many years ago, me and my brother pitched in to get my dad a laptop. My dad lives alone, okay? And when he gets, he works a nine to five. And when he gets off work, he works more hours than nine to five for the record. When he gets off work, <clears throat> he'll come home just in time and he'll watch the stream uh, on his little laptop in his little chair. And uh, I was talking to him a couple weeks ago and he was like, yeah, my, my, my fucking, he doesn't cuss. He's like, my laptop, he's like, the bat, it's, it's, it's not working anymore. The battery is completely shot, and the charger has to be in just the right way uh, for it to even turn on. So if he moves even slightly, the whole thing instantly turns off. It's, imagine like a power cable, right? So he's like, when I'm watching your stream, I'll be in the middle of watching it, like with my knees in just the right position. And then out of nowhere, it'll just shut off. And he'll be like, and it's so funny. My dad will try to censor himself when he's, when he's about to say a curse word. So he'll be like, I'll be like, dang, nab it. <laughs> so I heard that and I just pictured my little father sitting in his little room alone trying to watch stream and it killed me. Uh, so I bought myself a laptop. So I went to Best Buy with Alex to get my father a laptop. We picked one out for him and we surprised him with it. And we went in to, here's where the, am I the asshole? I don't think I'm the asshole, but it's still a funny story either way. So we went in and at this Best Buy, there are two employees who I've run into who knew who I was at different times. Two different employees who knew who I was. Stop saying I'm the asshole. We don't know yet. I haven't gotten to it yet. So I'm always trying to be on my best behavior when I'm there because I feel like even more people know now. Cause what will happen is like, someone will come to me. Oh, Bobby, can I get a picture? And they will be coworkers. So they'll be like, oh, who was that? Anyway, go to the laptop section. Oh my God, by the way, there was a woman in the laptop section, okay, with a Dell shirt on who was working at the Best Buy. I think she, she, was, she was helping and she had no clue what she was talking about. This dude was asking her what the difference between 12 GB of RAM is and what 8 GB of RAM is. And she's like, oh, more means faster. And he said, he said, what did he say? He said, uh, oh, he said, so if I buy the one with 12 grams, is that better? And she's like, yeah, that's correct. And I'm like, why are you letting this man walk around saying grams of RAM? Like, I, if I was someone working there, I would just go, oh, no, they're not grams. Let me explain it to you in a way that's a, like, what are you, shouldn't you, ugh. Anyway, I'm so mad at her. But I go up to the, to the, uh, the laptop section and I'm like hey I'm looking for this laptop it says it's in stock can we get it so the guy pulls out his phone he starts looking it up and he's like oh yeah it's in store uh, we just need to find it it's in one of these cases at this point it's 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 important to note this man and I hope he's not watching I don't mean that I'm just I'm not trying to single you out this man had uh, like what I what maybe was some sort of birth defect or something to where he, he his he only had one hand and his other arm was like short and had like a single hook uh, thing at the end it was why are people saying I'm the asshole no I'm not laughing at him at all he's on his phone and the way he holds his phone he like puts it in his in his the crease in his weenus if you're in middle school any middle schoolers watching he puts it in his weenus and then he uses his good hand to like Google stuff. And he was like, oh, let me go get the keys. I'll have to pull it up. Stop, I'm not laughing. He did take a while to search on his phone, but it's okay. It's not, I wasn't, I, I didn't care at all. It wasn't, in fact, it wasn't even noteworthy to me at all. In fact, it was so unnoteworthy. I almost said something to him. 
that I shouldn't have said. So he's, he gets the key eventually and he's fiddling with it. He's trying to hold his phone at the same time and it's a mess. So I go up to him and my brain goes, do you need a hand? <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and he, so I did, well, here's the thing though. I don't know. This is not the asshole moment, but oh, you guys are already calling me the asshole. This isn't even it. This isn't even the moment. <laughs> You guys don't realize how natural it is to say that. <laughs> Did, I didn't say it though. It's almost worse. I walked up to him as he was down there and it's, they start, it's, I said, you need, started to form just that amount. I caught myself, I stopped myself and I turned around. I think, I didn't ask, we didn't ever have a moment of, hey bro, sorry, I almost, no. I think he heard, okay, cause he stopped what he was doing, but I was already turned around pretending I was doing something else. Okay, dodged a bullet. Did he knew? Did he know? Probably. But this isn't the point of the story. I'm just setting the stage. He is struggling. Maybe it's because he has one hand. Maybe it's because the laptop was not in the spot it was supposed to be in. He gets up after about 10 minutes. And Alex and I are, are you know, we're not in a rush, but we have places to be at this point. He goes and grabs like another worker. <laughs> so between the two of them, three hands. And, uh... They go to the back, they come back out. This dude's looking, and I'm just standing there kind of waiting. Okay, here's where, here's the am I the asshole moment. Here's the am I the asshole moment. Here it comes. I don't think I am though. I don't think it's, it's not even that bad at all. They have 2.5 hands. No, he has a good, take my strong hand. Uh, <laughs> he goes, the dude, the, the, the not, the dude with two hands. God, I wish I knew their names because now I feel like I'm just identifying them with their hands, but I don't know anything about them. They were both wearing masks. They, okay, the dude, one-handed guy is out of the story now. I just wanted to tell you about that. One-handed man is out of the story. So don't pity him because that's not who I was supposedly mean to. So the dude is down there fiddling with it and he looks up at Alex and I and he goes, he goes are, uh, are you guys in a hurry? Like, do you need to get out of here quick or, and I go, I go, man, I'm kind of starting to think this is kind of mean to say, I was like, I go, I'm like, well, does it really make a difference? Like either way, we're waiting for you to grab it. And he stops what he's doing. He, he stands up and he looks at me and he goes, sir, you know, we're working as hard as we can to find it. <laughs> and then I go, and this Alex is like, whoopee. And I go, didn't ask. <laughs> And, and I walk away. And as I walk away, I turn to Alex and I'm like, why is he tell, I didn't, like, I, I'm not rushing him. I'm just fucking standing here. Why is he telling me this? Like, are you in a rush? I mean, no, but we're, we're obviously trying to get the laptop and leave. Well, we're trying as hard as we can. Okay. I don't, why are you telling me this? The employee was rude. Okay, here we go. Alex is going to... The employee was rude, but also you didn't need to say didn't ask. All right. All right. <clears throat> Everyone sucks here. Okay, but hold on. And then I started rambling to Alex. Maybe to, maybe to justify myself. And maybe you guys tell me. Let me at least plead my case here. Why is he asking me if I'm in a rush? What difference does it make? I I'm here to buy the laptop. I have to buy... Either you found it or you didn't. What? Like, what... I, I, and him justifying that they're trying as hard as they can. Okay. I didn't put, I didn't call it into question. Best Buy guy. I was standing here. You started the conversation. I can't believe you didn't ask someone in real life. I know I, it, it felt so good too. And as I walked away too, I was just being like, I literally kept out loud. I was like, why are you telling? Like, I did not ask. Uh, your tone probably sucked. I'm not carroting. Carroting means implying going in and expecting some kind of different treatment. I was standing there silently. He spat on your laptop. Well, he works at Best Buy, so. <clears throat> Did he charge you an you arm suck. and a leg? Guys, I told you the, the one-armed guy is not involved. I used to work at Best Buy. He's the asshole here. I've worked in, in, in um, you know, customer service. I worked in a store where I'll have to find items for customers. I have never in my entire life asked the customer if they're in a rush. That is a stupid question because there's no right answer for the customer.
There's no right answer. That is, no matter, how, okay, see, now I'm gonna actually dunk on you kids because I was having fun before, but now daddy's mad and daddy's gonna dunk on you. If you're in a service where you're having to find something for a customer in like a retail store and a grocery store, there is no reason to ever ask the customer if they're in a rush. Yes, they're in a rush. They always want to leave. There is no re, cause if I go, no, I'm not in a rush, take your time. What? Oh, thank God. Okay, we can go slower now. What? Why would you put the either? I, I'm left with a choice to either rush him or tell him to slow down by asking the question. It's a stupid question to which I was like, when he asked it, I was a little bit annoyed. I was like, I mean, I, I, I was like, what would, what does it matter? I literally told him, I was like, what does it matter what I say? Like, it's not going to change it. And then he's like, well, we're trying really hard. Okay, homie. I didn't ask, bro. Shut the fuck up. Who are you? It's just polite. I don't think it's polite. I think it puts the customer in an awkward situation where it's like uh yes you're overthinking it so much dude i'll fight you in the parking lot would it be a webby stream if i wasn't screaming at you guys come on let me be very clear here real quick i'm not leaving the store or this story thinking that this person is a bad human being no not at all i think it was a dumb question and it got a dumb answer that's how i genuinely feel now granted now granted you could I, I hate when people say it could have been handled better because I don't know if there isn't a social interaction that when you look under a microscope couldn't be handled better. It's more so what I don't think I, honestly, I don't think either of us were assholes. I just think he was kind of dumb. You made this up. Alex, you want to get on a call? Alex was there and embarrassed. <laughs> I'll have you know she was ashamed to be next to me. No, oh, actually, no, wait, one armed guy checked, he was the one who rang me up, and I was really nice to him. Uh, actually, hold on, wait a minute, hold on, Alex can attest this, to the one armed guy, when he rang me up, I was like, hey man, I appreciate you taking the time to find it, and he's like, oh, no problem, like, sorry it took so long, and I'm like, don't worry about it, bro, it's totally fine. It was the other dude, you know what, who it was? It was the dude who's grown up with two fucking arms, it's made him too cocky in this world. I'm not covered on hand to God over my heart on Alex. That is how it ended. When the when the one-handed guy checked me out, I was very nice to him. Maybe he's got three cocks. I don't know. If you guys are ever in a situation and you want to win, didn't ask. Didn't ask has got to be one of the most powerful tools in the English language. Tell me anything right now, chat. Tell me anything. I guess in this case, I am asking, but yeah, didn't ask. Just, it's so dismissive. It is so mean. Oh, it's powerful. It, I, you got over text. It's not as powerful. It's how it's delivered, right? Didn't ask. How to ace a job interview. Why are you qualified? Didn't ask. All right, it looks like it's pretty split. I'll be, the, I'll be the, I'll take the L on this one. It's more split than I thought it would be. I guess that is fair. I didn't have to say that. Blow your nose, then talk to me. Also powerful. Also very powerful. What are you going to do about it? That's another one I, I've been kind of doing recently, too. And, and Alex hates it. Alex hates it, right? Wubby, you're being too mean. And then I'll go, I am mean. Now, now where do we stand? What next? Right? Where do we go from here? Wubby, that was, you were not nice to that person. Yeah, I'm not nice. Now what? Now what? What happens next? I'm not nice. <laughs> she dude she hates it it's so funny yeah i know yeah i'm not nice what next you're a douche yes i am now what where do we go where do we go from here that phrase being used in our group has single-handedly changed how i talk D dude tt is so right the didn't ask thing has been it's in our close group of friends that we've been using and he did dude okay i'll be honest i don't want you guys to start doing this to your friends uh, all right, he was the asshole. I'll take an L. I shouldn't have said didn't ask. Real quick, though. I do feel that I've unleashed didn't ask onto you guys, and I regret it because in your friend group, you can use it for anything. People will confide in you anything, and you will start to get to a point where you didn't want to say it, but it's the first thing that comes to your mind. For example, <clears throat> Ham joins Discord. Hey, Ham. Hey, what's up? Hey, I actually had a really had a really good stream today. Didn't ask. Dude, you know the fucked up shit I say, and I still feel like it's too mean. Yeah, didn't ask is the, is the 
IRL social version of K. <laughs> I cry regularly. Hey, didn't ask. <laughs> See, it's the, it writes itself. Ham just said peanuts so mean I cry regularly, and I didn't ask. The claw man is on the sub. No way, the claw man is on the subreddit. This is not the claw man. This is not. Show me your face. This I don't think his claw looked like this. Yours looks more um, useful. His was more floppy. It looks like a hand. Missing fingers. His was a a a finger missing hand. <laughs> His was more tan too. Oh, he was he was a he was a <clears throat> ambiguously brown. Thank you to Ali Weird. Appreciate the five, sister. <laughs> uh, Hankel Sproppin. Okay, uh, hold on. I'm gonna read that again and you guys are gonna make fun of how much I butchered that. Remember how I just said it. Hank Hill, Hank Hill's propane. Can we get it? That one, I think that's, I think that's, oh my God. Dude, I'm so good at that. You don't understand, it's all, it's all, you don't understand dude see people are sitting here saying how you it's 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 all one word angel sproppin <laughs> look it's like split up so weird <laughs> okay whatever who asked sound alert it's not who asked it's not who asked here let me tell you why there's a little here's a little art of the deal for you guys okay it's not who asked because who asked Gives the per thank you, Cassidy. I knew a Cassidy in high school, huge mouth. Her mother was a teacher, small mouth. Uh, people didn't ask him, cool. Um, when you say who asked, you're giving the person you're attacking the opportunity, uh, to answer. Well, I asked, or they when you say didn't ask, you've left the door closed. Didn't ask, I'm not interested, D I have no interest in what That's you're saying. True. I'll let you know when I'm interested. How about that? Ugly motherfucker on the screen right now. Uh, Hankel Sproppin. Dude, that's bad. That is new Benjamin all over again. Uh, Hankel Sproppin. <laughs> that's so bad. That one is so fucking bad. It sounds like fucking ointment you put on your finger when you get a cut. Okay, let me tell this stupid story, because God knows I'm never going to be able to tell it. Okay, long story short... I have to poopy at work. This happened like a year ago at work, okay? And I don't know if you guys do this. If you don't, uh, I don't know how you don't. But I always use the retard, or I can't say that. The handicap stall when I go poopy. It's bigger, it has more room for activities. I always poopy in the handicap stall. If the handicap stall isn't available, I will go to a different bathroom or hold it. Only in the case of emergencies, ice. In case of emergency, do I poop in a normal people stall? I just need more breathing room. Okay, the little the little handicap stall. I always poop in there. And I don't care if you're handicapped, you're gonna wait because your boy has the shits. So anyway, um, I go into the handicap, or I mean, I go into the bathroom and I'm approaching the handicap stall and I have to poop. So maybe my judgment's a little clouded. I'm not gonna lie, but um, the bathroom, the the uh, stall is closed. But I always give, because the, the stalls close normally, even when they're not locked. So I go, I, I push on the door a little bit of the stall, or pull in the case of the handicap, too, because it'll close even if there's nobody in it, okay? So I go to pull, and before I tell you what I see in there, let me first tell you about this guy. For the sake of his identity, we're gonna call him Jason. Now Jason is a probably almost seven foot tall, and this is relevant, everything about this is relevant. He is a, what I assume is a gay man, and you're probably asking yourself, why do I assume that Jason is a gay man? Well, let me word it like this. Uh, the word flaming homosexual, by the way, not an insult, uh, does not begin to describe this man's demeanor. He was a tall black man, and I'm sure many of you picture Tyrone when I say that. 
That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about my man was like seven feet tall, maybe weighed 20 pounds, and he was this kind of guy. Mm-hmm. Oh, you all oh, have. Mm. Oh, girl. Weave, 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 girl. Mm. He was that kind of guy. And I'm not being racist or homophobic. I'm telling you what this guy's personality was like. My man was so beautifully homosexual. Okay. So now that you know who Jason was, let's get back. Now that you know who Jason was, let me get back to me opening the handicap door of the handicap stall in the bathroom. I opened the door, and to my immediately to my immediate shock and dismay, who else but my man, Flamer Jason, sitting there on the toilet, pants pulled down to those cute little light skin ankles, and what does he do? So first of all panic. I panic. What is my response? Slam that door shut. Now here's where it gets awkward. What is his response? My man, we made eye contact. My man screamed. Okay, I'm gonna actually reenact this so you guys really know what it was like, okay? And again, picture a beautiful homosexual um, uh, light, sk light skin man. Okay, ready? So, I'm gonna reenact it, ready? Uh, remember, you are me, and I'm the I'm the black guy, ready? So the door swings open. Ah! Slams door. That is exactly what happened. That's not why it was so bad, because here's the thing. If he wouldn't have fucking screamed like a weird gay woman, nothing would have been weird, because here's the thing, I would have probably laughed it off, or whatever. His scream made me feel like I was like abusing him. There were two other dudes in the bathroom peeing. Everybody looked, what did I do? Ran out. Ran the fuck out of there. Now here's the here's where it gets worse, guys. I left out a keynote. My man's works in my department. And the only reason I know who he is is because I've passed him before in the halls. Okay, now <laughs> here's the thing. I walked back to my desk with poopy butt for months for months for jason is not homo 34 says you gave me a sh <laughs> what did you expect me to do sweetie i love this sweetie like he's like this super flamboyant guy that's slick for months i had to coincide with this man at work i would pass him in the hallways before he would look at me and go, this man never looked up from his iPhone a single time since that day. And I knew why! I was like, dude, it doesn't have to be awkward. I didn't see his dick. I didn't see anything. I just looked him, I just saw this. Literally, this is all I saw. That's it! He was so embarrassed and I was, it was just, he, he made it so awkward. Here's the thing, and I'm not gonna get too speculative, and I'm not gonna get all weird. He did quit. I don't know if he quit because my man felt abused. But it happened, and he did quit within a couple months after. Never saw my man Jason again. Maybe he's on RuPaul's Drag Race now. I don't know what gay people do. More power to him. Maybe he's sucking a dick. Cool. I like dick. So, more power to him. Also, um... If my boss is watching, it's the it, if you're wondering who I'm talking about, boss, it was that that black dude who was super gay. He was really you could hear him when he was when he was when he would be on the phone. You could hear him from across the fucking room. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay, girl. Like my guy. I wish I was that excited about anything. Anyway, there's my Jason story. I forgot. I had repressed that. Guys, if there's one thing, listen, if there's one thing I would never do to you guys on stream when I'm telling, when I, when I say to you, I'm telling you the truth about a story, I'm telling you the truth. That is a true story. Swear on my life. Um, that's probably the, that was probably one of the most awkward things that's happened to me at work though. Sweet gum. Sweet, sweet. Sweet gum. This is the Mexican girl at my school. She would always ask for gum. No, that's, Brittany. That's Brittany so actually sweet. killed someone in a car accident too, so. Who needs gum now, Brittany? But yeah, Brittany's crazy. Anyway, shouts Brit out. What? Nothing. Don't look at chat. Why? Because Brittany's. 
Bernie was a bitch. You know, okay, you know what? I'll say it. I'll just say it. Remember how I told you guys that a girl came up to me in, in middle school with a pen and asked for my number to write it on her arm and the pen was oh, a shock was pen? Brittany? That was Brittany. I was that whore Brittany. She was, she was Mexican, okay? Which doesn't contribute to why she was a whore. It just made her weirdly Spanglish sassy. It was so bizarre, okay? And then on top of that, this bitch, she, uh, she would always ask for gum. She would ask you for gum? She just asked for gum. Did she ever ask you for gum? Uh, she Listen, she knew I didn't have gum. We stole it. There's this kid one time. It's at the same spot where I got the pen sign. I had, my dad used to get off work really late, so I had to wait. I, I, I got to meet a lot of... You know, it's kind of like IRL streaming before IRL streaming. I had to wait <laughs> outside my... IRL? I had... <laughs> It's <laughs> just interacting with other humans. I, listen, no, no, no. It's it's different though. I used Is to, it? I used to hot Cheetos too. Oh my god, she dip them in cream cheese. Listen, listen, listen. No, it's different though. What? Uh, you know, That's more can noteworthy. you just listen? Ice Poseidon would like go to a bus stop, and that would be his content for the day. He'd mm -hmm. see where it would lead him. Which, by the way, I thought was hilarious. We were watching a bus last night. I was sure. pissing my pants. Anyway. Uh, I would hang out outside my school nearly an hour every day, wait for my dad to pick me up because my dad would get off work and he'd come straight to pick me up. And as a result, I got to, I got to meet weird people i went to someone's house one time i'm not lying it was weird anyway long, long story short there was a there was a fat kid like like morbid like picture two of me duct taped together really really like like wow that's your biggest personality trait and he had uh oh i just realized well me and my dan were waiting dan will wait with me sometimes me, does it mean my dan me and my, your, your dan me and my friend dan were, were waiting and this really really dan. fat kid was there one time he was he was probably homeless because he smelled he was like that gross kid you know like everyone had that poor kid in their school that really poor kid that was him. He had a he had a DS though. He had just gotten one. It was very exciting for How him. How do you get a DS if he's a poor kid? I say poor because he smelled and had hold, holes in his clothing. I don't know if he was actually poor. It's just all we know about him, right? Okay. Um. Anyway, long story short, he had a DS and he was playing Nintendo Dogs. Okay. Okay. And he was trying to get his dog to learn the the name. And me and Dan I thought it was funny at the time to scream slurs at the Nintendo to try to get the dog to respond to all kinds of the most hor I mean, we were in middle school yeah. in like 2000 and something. So you can imagine the shit we were screaming at this at this kid so his Nintendo dogs would respond to the N-word, right? And it was, I, I would just say, hey, if that kid's watching, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had cigarette burns on your arms. I'm sorry that he was, it was rough. Um, <laughs> What were the yo? Hey, Wubby, what were the slurs specifically? I will list them out in alphabetical order. I'm not here right but, now. I'm, I'm gonna say this. I was a piece of shit in middle school. Who wasn't though? Yeah. Kids are mean. Kids. Were I just, was not a piece of shit. In yes, you were. No. You were bullied. You hurt somebody in middle school. No, I got bullied. Were you the fat kid with the DS? No, I actually wasn't fat. I had straight A's though. Okay, nerd. No wonder you got bullied. <laughs> I was in band. You probably had a lanyard. You fucking nerd. Did you have a lanyard? Yeah, no. tear that Why shit do people out of your. Have lanyards? I don't know. The cool kids had lanyards. I wanted a <laughs> lanyard so bad. The cool thing for me was everyone had TNA bags. TNA bags, huh? Mm -hmm. I, I wasn't alive in the '60s. Maybe you could fill us in on what a TNA bag is. Chat, you know what TNA bags are, right? What is that? It's, it, it was, a, was like the big. Everyone was, would get TNA was the hot... bags. Listen, listen. Here's okay. the thing. Everyone would get TNA bags instead of their backpacks. Mm -hmm. And the problem is, they were really uncomfortable to carry because you hold them. Like you, you don't. There's no strap, so it's just really uncomfortable. So it, nobody it sense, knows what you're talking about, by the way. Nobody knows. Nobody TNA knows. bags. Alex, I guess it's just Alex, a Canadian thing. Alex, when you, okay, nobody's look. gonna be able to. No, 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 no. Yes. Because you won't even be able to show them. You won't even be able to show them. Hey, listen, 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 listen. In bench jackets, yes. Okay, it's great. A Canadian thing. Oh, nobody can relate, though. Mm, it's not even a Canadian thing. It's an age thing. No, it's not. You're, you're probably. <laughs> you are rude. Was like we you, are not that far apart. In were age. you guys rolling up to school for recess? Like you're not gonna believe this, but they got a polio vaccine. <laughs> Lisa, I didn't get rejected by Jessica. Re Jessica never rejected me. Jessica was so bitchy. She's the one that you said that was the shock pen. No, that was Brittany. You can't even keep oh, your story straight bitch. without that. That old timers mm. um nobody you said it with such confidence like oh everybody knows nobody had any clue what did you name your nintendo dogs by the way i never did had you... nintendo dogs ah! i couldn't afford a ds what do you fucking mean you didn't have nintendo dogs i didn't i couldn't afford you a don't DS. know the joys of taking your dog on a walk and seeing a present and yanking that motherfucker by the neck to slow the first down first ds i ever had was a 3ds because i saved up my money I'll play um, Nintendo Dogs on Friday stream. If I, can, if I can get a, it working, I'll play Nintendo Dogs on a Friday stream. 
Do you know what sucks? I remember specifically I had a job and I was saving up for the 3DS. The day that I was able to go buy it, I went to go buy it. And when I went to pay, you suck. the purchase was so high that it didn't make sense for my bank account. So it, it blocked there. my card. Been there, homie. It was homie. a Friday, so I had to wait the entire weekend <laughs> until the Monday to be able to buy it. Because it locked my account. Because mm, the purchase yes. was No, no, heard. High. That's relatable. Heard. Is it? B yes. You've been with me when my card has gotten declined, <laughs> and then I go into panic. Yeah, no, no, no. You, maybe you maybe heard so of me. I, I made a video about kids on TikTok. Maybe I have money. Maybe you've heard of me. And they're like, uh-huh. It's true. Okay. It fucking sucked. That was very It's sad. so embarrassing. And I'm like, I can pull up a photo TV of my games. bank. Yup, yup. Um, I'll play Nintendo Dogs on Friday. Okay, I've never seen it played. Oh, it's great, dude. It's great. I was a Frisbee motherfucking pro, dude. <laughs> fucking scratch the shit out of the top of my, my DS. <laughs> Throwing a Frisbee. Story time? All right. I'm gonna tell you guys a little story. I, this was uh, about a week ago. This was before the price is scuffed. Um, actually a week ago to the day, a week in one day. And I, uh, I was driving home <clears throat> with Alex from, where were we coming from? Oh, we were coming from the beach after filming a video for the price of scuff that we scrapped. I'm driving the Tesla. Okay, and I don't think I have road rage, and I think I'm a pretty decent driver. I like to think that. And uh, this this worker van, uh, <clears throat> I forget what I think that I, I, I think they thought I cut them off or something. I don't know what happened. That's how I was just talking to Alex. Long story short, this fucking car gets in front of me, brakes hard because they're mad, and they're in a work vehicle. It's these two dudes. Now I'm gonna say something, just to paint a picture. Okay, both of them were black gentlemen, but they were in a work van with literally the 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 fucking how's my driving? I'm da 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 whatever. All this their whole company information plastered on the thing, right? And for the record, I was going to release it all to stream to ruin these guys' lives, but I decided not to. Shouts out to Alex for calming me down. So. I'm in a Tesla. I'm in a much faster vehicle than these fucking idiots in their van. So I pull up a lot up t alongside of them to get a look at them. Like, what is going on in that car that they're doing all this shit? I'm just talking to Alex. I'm like, what, what's happening? Right? And I pull up in front of them or to next to them to see the driver. And I shit you not, the driver, assumingly on the clock in a work vehicle, hits me with one of these. Ready? He goes. Like, like a, you want some? Okay, but hold on, this isn't the story. This is the buildup to the story. I'll be real. Instead of escalating the situation further, I sped off. I may have said something to Alex along the lines of, we're not gonna get shot today. Okay, not that you might, don't make this a thing. Don't make this a weird thing now, chat. I sped off because you this suck. guy seems unstable. Okay, who knows? I mean, if you're willing to do that in a fucking work truck where I, I, I can't even, I, I wanna paint a picture for you. This guy is doing this in a vehicle, in a vehicle that has their work number and work address plastered on the side, the side that I pulled up, literally I'm having to dodge this dude's contact information as he's hitting me with one of these. I can literally see the whole thing. So I just drive off, I just drive off. I say whatever, but we're on our way home still. And I'm already in kind of like a weird mood. I'm like, that was weird, Alex, but I'm gonna be mature. Give us his info, I'm not gonna give anything. I'm not gonna give anything. We didn't call, I just let it go. The whole time I'm driving away, I'm like, Alex, I swear to God, I could ruin that whole guy's life. I could just tweet out the number right now. I just do it. I'm like, whatever, let it go. We hit a little traffic. I'm in the fast lane. I'm, I always, I try to drive in the fast lane when, oh, I try to drive in the fast lane when possible. Okay, because on the freeway here in California, I drive the speed limit, but in GTA RP, I go about 85 miles an hour in the fast lane. All right, I don't tailgate people. If someone's going slow, I'll hope, hopefully they'll move or I'll just go around them. All right, I'm in the fast lane and there's a truck in front of me now. This is way, we're, we're about 20 minutes past now uh, where this whole situation happened. And a truck in front of me, and there's a little bit of traffic up ahead. Not a whole lot, but a slowdown. So the truck in front of me starts to slow down and I start to slow down. I'm like, okay, give him some distance, slow down. We're now going probably 60 miles an hour in the fast lane. Not ideal, but we're still moving and grooving, right? And this little tiny Kia 
starts tailing me like hard, like on my ass. And you can tell when someone's antsy driving behind you. You know what I'm talking about? They're kind of going in and out of the lane. Like they're just right up fucking on you. And I'm, I'm sitting there and I'm just still, I'm like, again, I'm not saying anything out loud. I'm just like, in my head, I'm thinking, hey, I got nowhere to go, buddy. Dude in front of me is going slow. You don't need to be on my ass. Nothing I can do, right? So, dude flips over into the next lane to the right of me, pulls up next to me aggressively, and I'm like, oh, here we go. Here we go. And he starts inching in as if to be like, move or I'm going to hit your car. It's the truck in front of me, me, and this little white Kia right next to me. And he starts inching in. And I start slowing down even more. I'm like, yeah, okay, get in front of me. Whatever, dude. We're both going to be behind this fucking truck. It doesn't matter. So I move out of the way. My option was get hit or move out of the way. So I just, I, I, I break. I break. I give him space. He comes flying in. Not a single signal used. And here's where, it, here's where it happens. Here's where it happens, ladies and gentlemen. Let me introduce you to Kia Kev. And the only reason I know this is his name is because he had a vanity license plate with the name Kia Kev on it. Kia fucking Kev. Now, Ham just brought up an interesting point. I wouldn't have let that asshole in. I let him in because I was like, this is now the second incident driving today, right? And I'm like, if you everywhere you walk smells like shit, it's, you better check the bottom of your shoe. So I'm like, I'm just not going to be the asshole this time. I'm not even going to instigate. Kia Kev comes dick swinging in, nearly hits us, and I turn to Alex, and I'm like, look at this fucking asshole, right? I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm just like, that dude almost just fucking hit us. What a fucking nut. Oh, my God. And this motherfucker did something to me that made me so mad. On God, I almost followed him home. I'm not even lying. Kia fucking Kev did something to me so despicable. I almost followed him home. We're on the fucking freeway, okay? All I see is this asshole's window roll down. He he rolls down his fucking window as he's in front of me. And I'm talking to Alex. He rolls down his window. He sticks his disgusting hand out the window and he goes... As if, as if we're at a fucking bar, as if we're at a fucking bar and I'm talking shit to his face and he's like, keep talking, keep, and I'm sitting there and I'm like, Alex, he's telling me to keep talking. I am going to keep talking. What are you going to fucking do about it? You can't even hear me. We're on the fucking freeway. Dude, on God, I almost followed him home. I was, I could, I, I was, I was in disbelief to Alex. I was in, I was like, how does he even know we're talking about him? For all we, we fucking knows. Because here's the thing. I, I made a comment about this asshole coming into our lane. And then immediately we went back to talking about the price is scuffed and slat and everything. While talking about the slap video, he does this. And I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, I was so... And then just staring me in the face was this douchebag's little piece of shit Kia and Kia Kev screaming at me in this vanity license plate. Man, I feel your rage. Those kinds of people need to get kicked in the throat. Thor, the validation you just gave me is all I needed for this whole stream. That's all I needed. I just needed you to say that because what kind of false sense of cockiness do you have? To get in front of me, first, to get annoyed that I'm going slow when there's a car in front of me. If that's you, if you're in my chat right now and you get annoyed at the person in front of you for going slow when there's somebody in front of them, I legitimately hope you have to witness your child fail a test. I saved it. I saved it. Okay. But then even more so, to get in front of me with your, with your Kia Kev license plate. He did a talking symbol out the window. We're on the fucking freeway going 60, 70 miles an hour, and he did a fucking talking symbol at me. Oh, and you know what? And Alex can confirm this. I forgot about this. Here's the best fucking part about it. Here's the best part about the whole thing. The dude's front left bumper was completely destroyed and hanging off. You know how it kind of jiggles when it's not on there, right? Because there was an impact. Something hit it at some point in his life, and it's just sitting there. And then I start, oh, man, you should have heard me. I was sitting there. I was talking to Alex, and I'm like, see that right there, Alex? You want to know? 
know what that is? That's fucking poverty. See that fucking loser right there? You know what happened if my car got hit, Alex? I'd take that shit to the shop. It'd be fixed. Sa I'd be out same day with a new car. He's been probably driving around with that shit for months. Okay, Kia fucking Kev gonna tell me who to talk to. What did I do? What did I do? Kia fucking Kev. I was so mad. Now, granted, I want to keep it real. Yeah, I know. I, I I went to a bad place. You gotta understand that it's not that I went to your poor. Haha, ha, get fucked. It was I was grasping. I made fun of his name being Kevin. It was anything I could get because I had nothing on this guy. I had nothing on him. I knew he was driving a shitty white Kia. I knew his name was Kia Kev, and I know he sticks his stupid fucking arm out the window. I'm sorry. Kev won that battle. He did win. You know what? I hate to say it, but he did. But here's the thing. Kev did something that I hate on the road. He started a battle that he caused, and then he ended it by being a douche. That is the most common thing I see on the road. Kev did something wrong, got mad at me, and then put me in my place. It's like, what? What do I do? Anyway, Kev, I hope your bumper's still busted. <clears throat> Good luck with that, douchebag. Good luck with that. I hope your bumper is still in fucking shambles. And I will keep talking. I will. This mouth paid for that Tesla. What was that, Kev? Your identity is your Kia? Thought so. As broken as you are, hanging on by a thread, unable to be fixed. What the fuck is this? You guys are quick with it. What is this? Christy Naps gifted a tier one sub to Kia Kevin. That sucks, man. Did you try setting your server location? Ham, I had to get on a plane and slap the Jew off you. Are you kidding me? You think I didn't try one of those? Oh my God. This fucking guy, dude. I'm going until this internet fixes itself. I don't give a fuck. Content is nothing today. I don't give a shit. Everything's on pause until the internet's up. Okay, so I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna talk about, I'll tell you a story. I was at my, uh, this is such, what is this? People are gonna see this in the VOD and it's gonna look all normal and they're like, what the fuck happened on Friday? When I was a kid, my grandma lived on a boat. And first of all, I don't, my grandma and grandpa, they're like weird with money. They're not rich. They're actually quite, you know, not money having but they're like at that age where i think you just start to justify to yourself that you don't need money anymore um which is so stupid because i'm like grandma like also my grandpa i oh, never mind i'm not gonna say it um but anyway long story short uh I, they lived on a boat like a houseboat and uh i fell in the water so many times when we go stay with them because we get dropped off of there over summer because my parents were divorced and nobody could why are you guys looking at my nose hairs? Bro, I just made the worst mistake of looking at chat and everyone's like, lazy eyes, fucking hairy nose. Some people are just saying ugly. <laughs> Someone's like, are you gonna fucking cry? I'm close. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm close to crying. Not because of uh, the mean people in chat, but because the internet is not working. Mm. And listen, if you're bored in chat, you can actually blow it out your ass because you think I want to be doing this. You think I'm happy that my... Look, look, look. This is supposed to be green. Okay, do you see that? That's supposed to be green. Until that's green... Until that's green, I'm not giving you the content you paid for. Okay? Anyway, as I was saying, I used to go hang out on my grandparents' houseboat. I fell in the water a lot of times. It pissed off my grandpa. I never knew why I did. We were, me and my brother were chasing an octopus one time. And long story short, we, I fell in. Um, and this isn't really, there's no point to this story. There was an old guy who gave us those you little suck. strawberry, you know, those little hard strawberry candies that are such old people candies. Like you've never purchased them in your life, but you've totally tasted it. This old guy would always give us those when we walk past his boat, which in hindsight is really scary that me and my little kid brother would just walk onto a, a guy's boat to get his candy. But he was a nice guy. Um, anyway, long story short, my grandpa fucking got rid of the boat for free. The houseboat, when they were moving, they were like, we're going to live in an apartment. We're old now. We don't want to boat stuff. So he gave the houseboat away for free. And I was a kid. I was probably like 15, 16 when he did it. And I was like, I, I want to buy the boat. But like, what are you going to do with the boat? The, 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 even my grandpa would have given me the boat. I'd have to pay for like a lot to hold it in, which is just, I'm a kid, right? I regret it every day. And then my grandpa did another thing. The same grandpa really pisses me off. I can't believe he did this. He, I've told this before. He had an old VW bus. You know those Star. like cool hippie buses where chicks with like hella pubes would sit in? You know what I'm talking about? 
hippie bus, like girls with tapestry leggings that have tight asses and flare at the ankles. You know what I'm talking about? Anyway, he, he had one of those and it was working. It drove. Did, could it use some work? Sure. This, it had a sink in it. Okay. That's how cool this fucker thing. That, the fucker. That's how cool this fucking thing was. Okay. He sold it for a dollar. When I was in my teens, he sold it to a guy on the street for a dollar, a fucking dollar. Holy shit. The shaking camera, bro. It's on my belly. Is this better? Do you guys prefer this? Um, your grandpa got scammed. No, dude. Well, yes, he did. He's a fucking idiot. He, you know, my, cause you know how old people get my, I've started to notice this too with my dad. Well, my, maybe less so my dad, but, but more so older people, you know, what old people do that. I've noticed it depending on the old person. It's so dependent on like, if it even sounds like a little bit of an That's inconvenience, true. they will go so far out of their way to make a poor decision. If it's just an inconvenience, right? If it's in, and it, not even a real life inconvenience, if it's in their head as an inconvenience, they're done. So I'll give you an example. My grandpa, I'm like, grandpa, just sell the car, like sell it normally through Craig. Oh, I don't want to deal with Craigslist. Oh, I don't want to deal. It's like, what? So you'll just sell it for a dollar. It's just, uh, maybe it's not an every old person thing, but maybe anecdotally, my old people will do this. Cause I knew an old lady, her name was Marie and she, I used lived in a complex, bro. The lag is still going. So I'm just going to keep telling stories. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, I'm not high. I'm just waiting for my internet to get better. All right, so Marie was this little old lady. This is a new story. I'll give you guys, this is a story you guys haven't heard. I lived in a in a in a, in a, a like apartment complex growing up, and there was this little old lady. God, she was old. You know when I almost said a, a gamer word. Y'all know people are old when they were old when you were kids, and now you're not a kid, and they're still old. That's how you know old people. Like Larry King. That man has been old since I was, I can remember. Like I was a child and that man was old, right? Marie, I'm not high. <laughs> Dude, there's people coming into stream right now who ha don't know what's happening. And they're like, is what we just out of his mind talking to a kid? Like this is, this is the image you see right before someone's career ends. <laughs> like, yo, what we just strung out ramp like <laughs> Well, he's just like super strung out rambling to a camera with no green screen. <laughs> Let me tell you this Marie story. So Marie, I lived in like a little apartment complex with like trees and shit. And Marie was old when I was a kid. I would have described her as in, in her 90s when, when I was a kid. But she obviously wasn't because I grew up with her. But she was this little old lady. She was slow moving. She shuffled her little sketchers. She would always wear little like little uh, jogger pants, loose purple pants and a little white sweater year round in San Diego. Docs Marie, leave Marie alone. I think she's dead. But anyway, she would walk around the fucking neighborhood. Someone just said ugly and retarded. Is that in reference to me or Marie? Marie would walk around the neighborhood without any payment, without any nothing. And she would sweep all the hallways and gather all the leaves and pick berries and shit. She had a lime tree that she let everybody eat limes from. <gasps> Did I ever tell you guys how I destroyed an entire old man's back? Uh, there was a Nazi. Oh my God. Did I ever have, I, I've never told this story. I don't think there was an, I used, I ruined a Nazi's garden. Let me add a title to my, to my cam. So people know, hold on. Uh, anyway, Marie died. Uh, we never saw her again. One day we saw like young people raiding her house. And we're like, oh, she's getting robbed. I'm like, no, we're her grandchildren. Marie won't be here anymore. I'm like, all right, Marie's fucking dead. Uh, and Lee and, and the, 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 the walkways were never the same, never as clean as they were when Marie was threatened. But that was, I think that was Marie's purpose in life at that point. <clears throat> that, that bitch was like 89 and she honestly just, she lived to sweep and she loved it. All right, here's a story about how I ruined uh, a Nazi's garden. There was this guy, he was he was he lived right across from me in this little apartment complex. My eyes aren't lazy. In fact, my art, my eyes have full-time jobs, okay? This guy, my first job, wasn't a real job. I was a kid, but my dad worked all day, okay? So my dad wasn't home. My dad was home at night. And this was when I think I was old enough to stay home alone at my house. So I was probably like, I don't know, before, under 18. But probably I don't know how old I was. But anyway, my first this this neighbor across the street. What we're gonna call him? What's a good German name? 
Hitler. Okay, thanks, guys. Adolf. God damn. Hans. We'll call him Hans, because I need a name, otherwise I'm going to say his real name. Hans lived across the way. This man was a German dude with a German accent, and he was, like, in his 80s. Do the math, okay? Do the math right now. This dude killed people in Poland or something. Do the math. I swear to God. Right? Like, where did this guy come from? So we're, I'm, we all, me and my brother used to joke that he was this Nazi guy. But either way, one day he invited me into his home with my dad's consent. Mind you, my dad knew about this. And he said, hey, I'm old. I'm going to be out of town visiting my daughter. He probably went to Germany to visit his Adolf daughter. Anyway, he's like, but I need somebody to water my plants for me every day while I'm gone. Uh, and little Dennis, you want to make like 20 bucks? Now's your chance. A little bit of responsibility. And I was like, yes, sir. So I went over to his house. He showed me his vast garden, his beautiful, like backyard garden that he had been working on. And I say backyard. It was like a little box, but it was really nice. And, uh, <laughs> Anyway, I mean, you already know the story goes because the title kind of spoils it. But long story short, I didn't go there a single fucking time. I didn't water those plants, not even once. I it must have slipped my mind. I don't know. This was at a time when I was playing Harvest Moon a lot and all kinds of shit. I'm assuming that I didn't do it out of spite or some weird reason. But I, <laughs> someone in chat said, "Will be saves America." <laughs> Yeah, what if he was growing some, like, new Nazi shit? Like, we don't even know. So, <laughs> they're saying lazy high for lazy guy. <laughs> anyway, his plants all died, or at least a lot of them died. I remember they weren't doing too well when he came back. And I remember having to have this conversation. I'll never forget it. We were in his backyard, and I lied to everyone, and that's really fucked up of me. But my dad was there. Uh, Hans the Nazi was there and I was there and we were pointing out plants like why is this plant dead? Why is this plant dead? And I was like dad I swear to you that I watered all of these plants thoroughly long story short We never I like any kind of contact passing this guy because I grew up in this house Any kind of contact with this guy was so uncomfortable and awkward and I felt weird and bad But <laughs> like, good job Wobby <laughs> Real American hero. What? Listen, I was a kid. I, I have that's a deep memory that I just pulled out. I hadn't thought of that in probably 10 plus years. And I've never told anybody that either. It was so embarrassing. Did you get paid though? Um, no. No, I didn't get paid from the guy whose backyard I ruined. Also, he was old. Like, imagine that's like your only thing. Like, he's he probably died trying to regrow that garden. Good one, dude. Hey Wubby, do you add anything to your glizzies and rice to make them special? Yes, I do. 25 months, my dude. Yes, I do. You want to know how you make glizzy rice right? Here's how Wubby makes glizzy rice, and I'm not going to tell this again. First, you need ba bas basmati, basmati rice, okay? I'm only going to say this once. So if you want to write this down, this is how I make glizzy rice. Basmati, basmati, I don't know how you say it. Okay, you need that kind of rice. Look it up. All right, jasmine rice. Nope, you're learning how to make Wubby's glizzy rice. Okay, first step, fill up a pot with rice, three, four cups. Fill up the water to about an, well, first rinse the rice three times. Rinse with your hands, dump, rinse, dump, do that about three times, okay? Three, four cups. Yeah, I make this shit in a pot. Yes, yes, yes. This shit's gonna last you a few days. Okay. You wanna know how I make it or not? Uh, no rice cooker. We're making rice the good way. All right. And then once the rice is rinsed, fill up a water to the cover of the rice an inch above the rice. If you don't have enough pot space, half an inch. Pour salt into the water, just a little bit. Okay, not a lot. You can always salt more later. Place the rice over high heat. Okay. When the either the water is it, when there's rice breaking the surface of the water, or the water is boiling, so you see bubbles at a consistent rate coming up from the uh, rice. You cut the heat. You cut the heat. Strain the rice. Strain well. Okay, 
Then, then you have an empty pot and a colander full of rice. Everyone's saying wrong. It's not wrong. Then you put a little bit of water at the bottom, like just a little. I, I run the sink, close the sink. That's how much water. Just a little bit of water, a little bit of oil at the bottom of the rice pot. Okay, like a, like a, I'd say a couple tablespoons of oil. Then a colander. You don't know what a colander is? Then you pour the rice back in on top of it all. Cover the rice. Low heat for 20 minutes. Low heat for 20 minutes. Okay. <clears throat> then, ladies and gentlemen, you have your rice ready to go. Take it, put it in a bowl. Salt, butter, mix it all together. That alone, I could eat for the rest of my life. Secondary, now we have the glizzies as you know, as you'd imagine. Slice up your favorite glizzy of choice into little slices, pop in the microwave, and just pour on top of the rice. People are saying white people style. <laughs> oh, if only you knew. If only the irony that's happening in chat right now, I can't even. It's like, I just, but I just can't say. I just can't. It's just the irony. The irony. White people style. Oh, the irony of saying that. Um, <clears throat> so I just gave you. Now here, I'm putting out a challenge. I'm putting out cha a challenge to you guys right now. I'm putting out a challenge to you guys. Anyone who, and I'm not, people who know what they're doing, people who are talking big game saying that makes the rice disgusting. Seriously, I'm putting out a challenge to you. Follow the recipe I just gave you verbatim. Do everything I said. Don't be like, oh, I substituted the rice for, no, no. Do what I said. Hot dog soup, you're not understanding if you think it's soupy. I don't even, you must not know how to cook rice if you think this comes out soupy. What the fuck are you talking about? What kind of oil? Uh, not olive oil. I use uh, like canola or uh, uh, whatever. How, uh, what, what, what else? What, what are you guys asking? Use a rice cooker, you moron. So a rice cooker creates sticky rice, Asian style rice, good for certain dishes. When you, have you ever been to a Mediterranean place to get food? Have you ever been to a Middle Eastern place to get food? Notice how the rice is completely different, okay? It's because they don't use a rice cooker. What are you talking about? Wrong? What are you talking about? Hi, I'm Blanche. Welcome to Feast in the Middle East, and let's get started. So here I have all my ingredients. I have about four cloves of minced garlic. Using Wait, butter I don't just see a rice cooker in sight. I got a teaspoon of salt and an extra tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. So to start, I'm going to heat up saying, my pan. People are, people are saying add... it's a white person. I love that. It's my favorite part. What? Literally, the, the title of this video is also in a different language. This woman is clearly not white. She's clearly mixed. Y'all are so... Fucking stupid. Like, I'm serious. Okay, I I'm actually annoyed because I I'm just gonna... Bottom line, the way I learned how to cook rice is not a white people thing. One. And two, rice cooker can literally do that. Even if it can, guess what? So can a pot. A pot. So why I don't need a rice cooker for it. Of course I'm heated because, I'm gonna be real, there's a lot of people in chat speaking with authority who don't know what they're talking about, and I do know what I'm talking about in this case. I do know what I'm talking about. And also, the first result when I typed in how to make Mediterranean rice does not have a rice cooker, and I think that proves my point. It's jasmine rice? Well, this is, I'm not making that kind of rice. My point is, though, is that the rice I'm choosing to make, you don't make it typically in a rice cooker. You just don't. It's not typically made in a rice cooker. The type of rice I make is not made in a rice cooker. It's not. They are different kinds of rice and they require different steps. Can a rice cooker do it? Maybe, I, maybe, but that's not my point. Typically, it's not made in a rice cooker. What am I, what, what, what kind of rice? Basmati uh, and it with, uh, with, see, I don't wanna get into it, but I'm over it. Here we go. I typed in how to cook, I typed in how to cook Middle Eastern rice. The first result with the most views. 
Ladies and gentlemen, in a pot. We don't want a true soft Evo. You don't know what you're talking about, chat. I'm sorry, but you just don't. You just don't know what you you're talking about. Be really careful. I'm not mad about rice because I'm mad that this community, and this is a serious problem that's in this community, they think they know everything about everything, and they just don't. Middle Eastern rice, Mediter Mediterranean rice is not typically cooked in a rice cooker. And you guys saying that and then saying you only think that because you're white? The irony, the irony. Y'all are the ones saying the white thing. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. I know I'm right. I know I'm right. God, and I, there's even more context that I have that y'all don't know, but I don't want to say, but I know I'm right. You use a pot to cook this kind of, of course I'm molding. Oh my God. <sighs> Here's the bottom line. What, what you're seeing now is you're seeing a pivot in chat. Chat is now changing it to, we didn't say you needed a rice cooker. We just said you could use one. No, 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 no. People were saying, why aren't you just using a rice cooker? This is so many extra steps. Why not use a rice cooker? Use a rice cooker. You're white. You're making too many more steps, you stupid whitey. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Come on. The the colander is the problem. What? Whatever. I'm straining rice. I'm straining. I need to get the water away from the rice. Y'all know what you're talking about. Y'all know what the fuck you're talking about. Sorry. Y'all are too white. That's the, you know, here, we're going to pull up a pole. I kind of want to... Hold on. I'm going to do something that I've never done on stream before. I'll be right back. Go for it. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. When y'all come into my stream and tell me I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, consider that you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, okay? That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. Y'all have no clue what the fuck you're talking about. That's it. If you know, if, if you have no clue what ha just happened, then stay out of the conversation. If you have no clue what just happened, then stay out of the conversation. If you do know, then you're sitting there in your chair right now like, oh shit. I've never, I, I can't believe I had to do that shit. No one heard it. You got to go clip it and turn it up. Go clip it and turn it up. It was there. It came through. Um, I could hear it through my headphones. That's how I know. That was not foddy, by the way. That was not foddy. That proves even further. You don't even know what language that person was speaking. That proves to me, maybe you should stay out of the conversation of how rice of a part of the world is made when you can't even identify the language. Like, come on, come on. Stay in your lane. That's all I'm saying. Just stay in your lane on this one. I think I know. Weird flex. I'm just tired of it, if I'm being honest. There's things that I may be an idiot, but there's some things that I know, and there's some things that y'all don't. And the hive mind, it gets to a point where it's offensive, where it's like, what? I'm teaching you something. I'm sharing some of my life experience and knowledge, and y'all turn it into a white guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Shut the fuck up. I'm talking about how I make rice based on my life experience and my life experience comes from where my family comes from and y'all just won't let it go you look at me and you judge me and you're like look at this retard th th this guy doesn't know how to cook rice it's frustrating and it's offensive it really is um so i had to play a card that i didn't plan on playing tonight but i did nobody said your recipe was wrong they said you are wrong when you said rice cooker only makes you i never said that I didn't say rice maker only makes stigma. Well, at least I may have said that in response, but that was later in the argument. Y'all were saying, why don't you just use a rice cooker? It does the same thing. Because it's typical. The main argument I was getting on is, hold on, hold on. The main thing that, 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 I, that annoyed me was everyone was like, just use a rice cooker, forehead. And the main thing that y'all jumped on was when I said, why would you do that? This is typically how it's made. And everyone said, no, it's not. And I'm like, you don't know what you're talking about. That's just not true. I honestly do not give a fuck. Then why even make it noteworthy? <laughs> why even say anything? No one cares? I care. I care. I care and you're in my stream. Everyone uses rice cookers well. See that, Zach, what Zach just said in chat is what I have a problem with. It's just not true. It's just not true. IDK about chat tonight. Bro, I'm, I'm, yeah, it's not even, it, let's be honest. When I say chat, I'm not referring to regulars. I'm not referring to long time subs let's be honest here i'm not referring to 
the typical donators. I'm not referring to the people who are active in the community. Let's be honest here. I'm referring to the trickle down XQC viewers, the trickle down Ms. Kiff spammers, the trickle down, you know, Hassan people. It, really, let's be honest here. They come and go. They come and go. Uh, also, by the way, I just looked up um, how to cook this kind of rice in a rice cooker. Uh, and you, there are a bunch of different steps you have to do, including um, using paper towels. Uh, some people use an actual towel for this. So there are extra steps you have to do to make it right, uh, which is why most people, when cooking this kind of rice that I'm referring to, don't use a rice cooker. It's not typical. It's very atypical, uh, which is the whole point that I was making. Um, and uh, who gives a shit? I do. I give a big shit. So, dude, bro, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going into sub only mode. I have, ne dude, are y'all, are y'all seeing this? What the fuck? I'm like kind of in disbelief right now at the toxicity breeding in my chat. We brought it back down and we made it into more of a conversation. And the second I said that, I see 200 names I've never seen in my life going, move on, I'm in control. I tell you what you can and can't talk about. Salty baby, move on, move on, I'm over it, right? I'm not in a good mood to stream now. Y'all have really pushed me to a, a different side that I'm not okay with. What the fuck? Maybe it's because I, I, I don't know the, the but the entitlement I've seen in chat tonight is is not typical for this stream. It's it's turning hostile. It's it's turning hostile. And and you're gonna take this and be like, look how mad he got over rice. I'm mad at y'all. Fuck the rice thing. Y'all are toxic. The fuck is wrong with you guys? I'm past rice at this point. I'm mad at how entitled you people are. Not, and now keep in mind, it stops since going into sub only mode, but like, be gone. Be gone, you little fruit flies. Jesus Christ. I'm sad, I'm sorry, chat. I'm sorry that it, that it, that it do be like this, but like, what the fuck? I mean, what can you expect when the biggest streamer on the platform is mega toxic this type of behavior is just is just accepted and encouraged it's so what the fuck listen i i people will say i'm toxic because i'm edgy but like there there is a difference and and i think that intentionally trying to belittle everything that comes out of my mouth at a certain point you're not disagreeing for the sake of conversation you're shutting down for the sake of control and that's obnoxious and that's not a fun it that 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 makes for a very toxic environment for people who just want to kick back and watch i will say this right now up until the last thing i said everything i was okay with everything the back and forth was okay it was enjoyable to have a back and forth but where the communication for me just broke down was when i opened my mouth about it again and chat was like shut the fuck up how dare you even speak about it that's where it's like I don't know, man. That's just not it. Who are these people anyway? They're people who are browsing, who hop from stream to stream. They don't want, they don't, they don't support. They're not a part of, the, part of the conversation. They're not a part of the community. They will leave. They will be back at another time. Streaming is fun and typically quite easy and relaxed and laid back. And, and, and honestly, the best job I could ever hope for. But every once in a while, and I think some streamers it happens to more, I would say that it's not something that happens too often on here where I actually get really mad and have to go to be right back to calm down, but it happens. And I, and, and I'm sorry if this is your first stream or I'm sorry if that wasn't entertaining because it wasn't, but like, it's just something that's going to happen. It, 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 there's just, there were at the, at the time that that happened, there were over 8,000 people in chat and it gets to a point where like, it, it, it just feels unmanageable. It feels overwhelming, right? I feel like I can't say a word without getting shit on. And then, like, obviously, there's the problem too is people who I like, they're memeing 
and then people who I don't know, they're they're actually trying to be hurtful. And it just, it all just, it becomes overwhelming. Granted, not often, not all the time, but every once in a while, it just, it becomes overwhelming, right? Like the whole intro to stream, if you really look at it, was all self, self-deprecation. I'm okay, like we made fun of my keyboard, we made fun of my disgusting plate, a fat image on the subreddit. That's all good and fun, but at one, the tipping point was just where I couldn't even talk to chat anymore. That was that, and and I think that's usually where I lose it. That's usually where I uh, can't, I don't wanna stream. I don't wanna be live. I can't even talk to chat. You know what I'm saying? That's where it, that's where it gets lost for me. It happens, uh, it, it's very random. Y'all pick something to get very mad about. Um, just don't read chat. Well, that's the difficulty is that my this is a conversation. I'm bouncing ideas off you guys and you're hitting me with shit. You're calling me a retard. I'm calling you guys a retard. We get heated and then we have fun. The difference is, is we'll get heated and then instead of having fun, chat will go to stop speaking. Don't talk. Don't fucking speak, you fucking retard. Don't talk to me. And it's like, whoa, wow, there's the thousands of you saying that. Damn. This is weird. Like, look how many people left. 700 people have left since, or no, almost a thousand people have left since going to sub only mode. What does that tell you? I don't typically give a shit about trolling. Like I said, the majority of the intro of the stream was just people fucking with me, and it's hilarious. It's just, there's a line, and there's only so much I can take, if I'm being honest. There really is. There's only so much I can take. 